a lot of you have requested for a 30 days preparation strategy for ISI MSQE. So let's get started. You're watching Honey of Knowledge and this is Ashish Gaurav. What you need to do is divide these 30 days into focus area days. How, what do I mean by focus area days? Let's look at that. Last seven days, we're trying to do it backwards. Last seven days must be ideally devoted only and only for revision and relaxation. You must not try to understand or learn something new or even let's say practice a new kind of a question. In the last seven days, you just need to revise old concepts and try to make a mental map of all the concepts. And what I mean a mental map is try to encapsulate the entirety of economics into few lines, few lines for microeconomics, few lines for macroeconomics, few lines for statistics, few lines for maths. And in this way, you can have a good revision done in your mind so that just a day before exam, you don't need to look into all your notes and books. You just have a mental map of all the concepts and how to make a mental map is a very detailed idea and not suited for this video. Everybody has a way of making a mental map. So in a future video, I may come up with how to make mental maps of subjects. So if you need a mental map video, how to make mental map for various topics and subjects, do comment in the video so that I make a video on how to make mental maps for various subjects. After you have made a mental map, that is all the revision you need. So in the last seven days, that would be your task to summarize all the subjects and topics and do not practice new questions. Let's look at the remaining 23 days preceding the last week. So this is how you should prepare in the first 23 days of the last 30 days. You should give the first three days to macroeconomics and the last two days to macroeconomics. The reason being macroeconomics has a bit of story aspect to it. So you need to give it a bit of chance but not let the preparation circle around macroeconomics. So you should give it time when you're fresh and when you have wound up your preparation. So in the beginning and in the end. After that, micro maths and statistics must be given importance every day. And you should ideally give most of your time allocation to maths. And I would suggest giving at least three hour to maths daily. What about microeconomics? For microeconomics, you should ideally give around one hour every day. And for statistics, around half an hour or around 30 minutes or so. Now, this is just a lower limit. This is the bare minimum which you must give, which is 4.5 hours daily. That is apart from your macro preparation in the first three and the last two days. So in the first three days, the minimum requirement is 4.5 hours of micro math statistics plus macroeconomics. And in the last two days, 4.5 hours of micro maths and statistics along with macroeconomics. So this is the bare minimum which you must do. And let's say you want to study 12 hours. Nobody is stopping you from that. But you remember that your allocation must be in this ratio. You should not deviate from this ratio much because the maths paper of MSQE is highly scoring and you can easily touch up to around 100% in the maths part of the entrance. But it's difficult to touch maximum score in the micro and the statistics part 
or even in the macro part. I mean, there could be a few exceptions who are good in statistics, so they may get full in their statistics portion also. And as IASI does not have a separate statistics portion, they have a maths portion in which you have few questions of statistics. So ideally giving good amount of time in maths can give you a good score in that maths part which has statistics in it. So I would suggest to give your time allocation in this ratio. 3 is to 1 is to half to maths, micro and statistics and give macro your first three and the last two days of the 23 days preparation plan. So this is your first 23 days preparation plan for the last 30 days. And as you know, in the last seven days, you need to make a mental map for all these subjects. And ideally, you should have made a mental map while you were preparing for it. And I mean, before this period. Your mental map should have been made way, way back two, three months before the exam. But if you haven't made a mental map, even then it's fine. The last seven days could be devoted to make mental maps for all the subjects. You have four subjects here. So give one day for each subject and make a mental map. And the remaining three days could be given to have a recap of your mental map along with your notes. Now, this is a basic framework of preparation plan or a strategy for IASI MSQE. You can tweak it a bit and you can get desired results. And no one size fits all. So this is my understanding of the exam. Your understanding, your preparation can vary. I'm not saying that you need to stick to this plan. This is a good starting point to make your plan. You don't need to go word by word of it. Tweak it a bit, make it your plan. So this is a template, modify this template and use as per your liking. So if you need a mental map video, how to make mental maps of various topics and subjects, then do let me know in the comments below and I will come up with that video. And best of luck for your ISI MSQ preparation. And I shall be coming up with preparation videos for other exams and of ISA MSQA of different kinds. So don't forget to subscribe to Honey of Knowledge and also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Let's meet in another video. Bye bye.